So let's look at this problem. Finding the fourth order moment of uh, jointly Gaussian random variables. So here all the random variables are zero mean and uh, they have a correlation given by uh, uh, this um, expected value of xi, xj is rij. So the question is what's the fourth order moment of x1, x2, x3, x4. So to do this, let me, we'll use the characteristic function. That's the easiest one. And let me start with a set of uh, random variables which are independent. So I'm going to start with this vector. Uh, so each of these yas are zero mean. And their variances are one. And the yas are independent. So they are independent, identically distributed Gauss and Gaussian random variables. So yas are zero mean and uh, unit variance. So the characteristic function of yas are easy. So if I look at this vector, so the characteristic function of y is we will, uh, it's going to be expected value of e to the power j sigma y i omega i, i equal to one through n. So again, if I define a vector omega as omega one, omega two, omega through omega four, then I can write uh, this in the product as uh, omega transpose y. So this is the same as e to the power j omega transpose y. But these are these are independent. So this is going to be the product of the expectation. J Y A omega I. But this is nothing but the characteristic function of each uh, a Gaussian random variable. So that's Y omega I. But that's uh, uh, simply, so the characteristic function of Y is product i equal to one through four e raised to minus omega i squared over two. So, so this product, if you bring in this, you can write it as omega i squared i equal to one through four by two. But that same as e raised to minus omega transpose omega by two. If you want, we can put it in this vector form. So how do we bring in x here? So I'm going to define x as uh, ay. So through a transformation. So the xi's are uh, Gaussian. So they're all Gaussian. If y is mean is zero, so x mean is zero. So to find out the covariance of x, that's going to be expected value of x minus its mean. So simply xx transpose, uh, or, or rather x transpose x. So that's going to be, so to get all the, x is a column vector. Uh, a column vector. So we want uh, we want x x transpose because column vector multiplied by row vector. So that's going to be a y, then y transpose a transpose. But y y transpose. So this is i. So this is a expected value of y y transpose. A transpose, but this is uh, nothing. This is a covariance matrix with uh, diagonal entries e1 squared off diagonal entries y i y j expected value, but off diagonal entries are zero. Diagonal entries all have equal, so this is equal entries equal to one. So this is identity. So this is simply a a transpose, and that's a positive definite matrix provided a is pos a, uh, positive definite. So I'm going to call this A transpose to be R. So that's the covariance matrix of uh, X. Uh, so this is uh, expected value of X, X transpose. X is a vector and uh, so X, X transpose. So the question is uh, what's the, so we are going to find the characteristic function of uh, X. 
uh, let's say uh, uh, omega is e to the power j sigma xi omega i. So this is going to be, so I can write it as a vector. So this is, this is simply omega transpose x. So this is e to the power j omega transpose x. But for uh, uh, x, I'm going to trans, uh, put as uh, in terms of y. So this is e raised to j omega transpose a y. I'm going to call this a new variable v transpose. So I want to write this as v transpose. Uh, v is a vector instead of omega v. v y. If I rewrite it like this, so I am defining uh, omega. Uh, Omega transpose a, omega transpose a as v transpose, or v is simply a, a transpose omega to keep in mind. But if you look here, this is the characteristic function of uh, y evaluated at v. And we have the characteristic function of omega, uh, y here. So that's going to be v transpose v by two. So that's going to be e to the power minus v transpose v by two. But v transpose is here and v is here. So that's going to be e raised to minus v transpose is omega transpose a, a transpose omega by two. But a, a transpose is r, the covariance matrix of x, r, x, x, or r. So this is going to be characteristic function of omega. Uh, characteristic function of x is going to be, which is e to the power j sigma xi omega i is equal to e raised to minus omega transpose rxx omega by two, a standard result. So this is where we are going to start and R, as you know, is uh, covariance. So that's going to be R11, R12, R13, R14, Rij, the last entry, R44, R41, etc. This is a positive definite matrix. So you're going to uh, use this expression to get the expected value of the fourth moment. So let me start with this last expression. So that says uh, e to the power j omega transpose x is e raised to minus omega transpose r x x omega by 2. So let me expand to both the sides. So this side is e to the power j sigma omega i x i i equal to 1 through 4. And this side is e raised to minus uh, double summation omega i omega j r i j divided by 2. i goes from 1 through 4, j goes from 1 through 4. So this side I'm going to write this as, you remember xi's are not independent. So this is I'm going to write it as omega 1 x1 e raised to j omega 2 x2 omega 3 x3 e to the power j omega 4 x4. Remember, all this is still within the same exponent, uh, same expected value, so that they are dependent random variables. And uh, this side, uh, let's, so let me explain the left side. So the left side, I can uh, write each of this, I'm going to expand as an e to the power term. So this is e to the power product, let's say i equal to 1 through 4. And the expansion of each one is 1 plus j omega 1, j omega i x i over 1 factorial plus j squared, which is minus 1, omega i squared x i squared over 2 factorial plus etc. So we have four such terms. In other words, if I write the left one, uh, so this is equal to, 1 plus uh, j omega 1 x1 plus other terms 
1 plus j omega 2 x 2 plus other terms 1 plus j omega 3 x 3 1 plus j plus etc omega 4 x 4 etc so the term we need uh, so if i expand this this is going to be 1 plus j 4 then i have expected value of x1 x2 x3 x4 uh, multiplied by omega 1 omega 2 omega 3 omega 4 plus all the higher order terms but this is the term i am interested in so i'm going to look at the expansion of the term with the omega 1 through omega 4 on the right side so let's see how to expand that. And then we can simply uh, collect the corresponding terms together. So on the left side, we have 1 plus j to the 4 is 1. So this is x1, x2, x3, x4, omega 1, omega 2, omega 3, omega 4, plus etc. equal to, we have to expand this e raised to this quantity. So that's going to be the quantity. So that's going to be 1 minus the quantity, double summation, omega i, omega j, r i j by 2, plus 2 factorial. That's 1 over 2. This quantity is squared. So that's a summation on i j, omega i, omega j, r i j multiplied by summation, let's say, KL, omega K, omega L, or KL. Whole thing divided by 2. Uh, plus other terms. So the cost term, we can see, this is where we'll get across. You can see that everything has to come out of this term, because if you, the next term is going to be cubed and so on. So omega i, omega j are going to repeat you know, six times. Here you have together, they are only repeating four times. Here they are repeating twice. Here two multiplied by two. So this is the term we should concentrate. So I am simply going to write this as something plus two here, two here, two here. So one over eight multiplied by, I'm going to expand out all the terms here. I goes from one through four, j goes from one through four. So the terms will look like omega 1, omega 2, R12, then omega 1, omega 3, R13, uh, plus omega 1, omega 4, R14, plus uh, omega 2, uh, omega 3, R23, plus omega 2, omega 4, or 2, 4, plus omega 3, omega 4, or 3, 4, plus all the terms which are duplicates and equal, uh, for example, omega 1 squared, or 1, 1, etc. We are only interested in and multiplied by the same thing one more time. So I'm just going to write it down one more time. Omega 1, omega 2, R12, plus omega 1, omega 3, R13, plus omega 1, omega 4, R14, plus omega 2, omega 3, R23, plus omega 2, omega 4, R24, plus omega 3, omega 4, or 3, 4, plus uh, terms like omega 1 squared, uh, oh, uh, R11, one, one, plus omega 2 squared R1, plus the repetition of all this, because there will be terms like omega 2, each of these terms will appear twice, because uh, omega 1, omega 2, and then you can also have the term omega 2, omega 1, R21, but in the real case, R21 and R22 are same. So basically, all these terms, except the diagonal terms, will be duplicated twice. So there will be a two factor because of that, and there will be a two factor because of that. And uh, 
Now, if you let's cross multiply, keep in mind that I we need to generate. So all the all, diagonal entries are divided by two here, but they are not going to count. So we are not we don't have to worry about this. But these terms will repeat twice. Now we need omega this distinct term. So I can take omega one, omega two, and that pairs with uh, omega three, omega four. So that's uh, so that's going to give rise to. So remember here, two two cancels with eight, so you have half. So we have r one two multiplied by r three four. Then you also have omega three omega four from here. This will pair with uh, this one to exactly generate this. So that's going to be another two factor. This term repeats twice. So let's look at the next term. Omega one omega three goes with. Uh, Omega two, omega four, giving rise to R one three, R two four, and this whole thing is omega one. So generating omega one, omega two, omega three, omega four. So we got two, and this again, omega two, omega four. This goes with omega one, omega three, making it twice again. So this term also repeats twice. Then we take this one omega one omega four, which is r one four, multiplied by omega two omega three. That's r two three. And uh, we have omega two omega three multiplied by omega one omega four, giving it twice. So two two cancels, and there is no other term. So this must be equal to what we are looking for. So we have the result that expected value of x one, x two. X three, X four is R one two, R one three. I'm sorry, R one two, R three four plus R one three, R two four plus R one four, R two. So I'll write it uh, one more time. So if X i's are such that X i's are zero mean normal, some variance R i i. And the expected value of x i x j is r i j. Then expected value of x one x two x three x four. Of course, the third order moment is zero. Is r one two or three four plus r one three or two four plus r one four or two three. That's the result.